This video is to show one of the ways to UV map an object. And the way that we're going to do it is to bring in an image from an outside program or outside source and map it to an object. The object that I have here is a table and more specifically it's just the top of this table. I'm going to map it with a an image of a wood texture. And so what I need to do is to edit this, go into edit mode, and this is just basically a cube. It's just flattened and stretched, but it's still the basic concept of un of marking seams on a cube, unwrapping it, and then I'll map the image onto it and bring it back in. So I'll show how to do that. If I go to edit mode, tab, if I need to get edge select, and I'm going to select the edges. Now it's important how you select the edges. There's different ways to do it depending on the object, the size of it, the shape, and so I've found that a flat table surface like this, the best way is the following. Um, I'm just going to mark each, well I'm going to hit A first to deselect everything. I'm going to right click on the small edges, I'm going to get all of those edges, and as I do that I know also that I need th uh, this edge right here. Oops, I'm holding the wrong button. Shift. If I hold down Shift and click this edge right here, and then as I go around I'll continue to get the edges going up. Now on this one I'm going to keep it all together because I want to unwrap it so that that's all together. I'll show you how it looks in the end. But just go along and wrap or mark all these seams or select all these edges. And then that one. So as, as I go around, I don't know how to explain it, but just do what I did there. Um, it's all four small tiny edges there, but then there's three, only three of the four on the bottom and one of the long ones I'm keeping unmarked. So now that I've selected all those, I can come over here to the Shading and UVs tab and click Mark Seam and it marks all those seams. Now I'll hit A twice to select all of it and I have to open up a new viewport so I'll click this little, the little diagonals and drag them out and change the viewport, viewport to UV Image Editor. And then I will press U on my keyboard and unwrap it. And that's the shapes that I, that's what I want right there, how to unwrap it, but it's, they're perfect squares, which I don't want because these are not perfect squares. And this is a funny thing that Blender does, I'm not sure why, I'm sure there's a reason, but I just don't know what it is. I can click U again to unwrap and then reset, and then U again and unwrap it again, that didn't work. So I need to tab out to object mode real quick, and then click on this object menu, come up here to apply. And I'm going to apply the rotation and scale. Why I have to do that again, I don't know, but I'm sure there's a good reason. Tab back into edit mode, and let's try again. Let's reset it, and then unwrap, and there we go. Now we got the right size of it, and that's what I want. Now I just need to bring in the image. I've already gone to the internet and found a good texture, wood texture, to put on my table. And just a tip with that, if I pull that up, if I go, if, uh, I went into Google and just typed light wood table texture because I wanted a light one and it brought up all these results. Now there's a trick because some of these pictures are very small and if you get a small picture and bring it into Blender then it's going to be pixelated, it's not going to look very good. So um, a trick then, or a tip, you can go to search tools right here and select, oh they were all large, I was wondering because I already selected it. Um, if you click this size, usually it says any size, that's default, and then it gives you any size. But if you click search tools, size, and large, then it only gives you really big pictures, which is good. But, um, because then it looks really good. And so I found one that I liked um, somewhere in here, don't remember what it was, but I right clicked on it. Or I, sorry, I just regular clicked on it, and then I waited kind of for it to load so it wasn't blurry anymore. And then you can just right click and save image as. Of course, we have to consider copyright when we do this, um, but we're doing it for a school project and we're okay if we're not doing anything with it besides just using it for uh, an assignment. So if you were to sell this or put it on a website somewhere, certainly you'd need to consider a copyright for that, but let's not worry about it for our class. So back in Blender, once we've after we've saved the image, we need to bring it into Blender. So I'm going to go to the Material tab, 
and use nodes if you see that just click it instead of a color for my table I want an image texture so I'm gonna click the little, the little dot right here and select image texture and then I have to go find my image by opening it because I don't have it in blender yet I could click right here if I drew some or had some already in there but I haven't so I'm gonna click open it's gonna take me to my file system I'm going to click this button right here and it helps me see my all my images better and I've got a bunch of random images here that I've used over the last few years the one that I saved was this one so I'll just double click on that and it will bring it in um, it hasn't brought it into this view yet so I'm gonna click right here and grab it and there it is and then over here I'll just uh, so, so I've mapped it already I can preview it it's right there and but I also need, I want to see it in the view, the 3D view, so I'm going to click material right here, and then I can see it on there. Now I want mine going long ways instead of this way, and so I'm going to rotate this. So I bring my cursor back over here, make sure it's all selected with A, if it's not selected, hit A, and R to rotate, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, so 90, enter. And now that I look at this, it's still not the right proportions, so let me go back and try that again. I don't know if it was before or not go back out I'm going out to object mode object menu apply let's just try scale this time come back in you reset you unwrap there we go okay that's better so I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees hit enter and then I've got it the way that I want now uh, a couple tricks here you got to be aware of things that you need to be aware of um, I'm right in the middle and it's coming off of my picture and so, but it's it's on there. It looks pretty good over there. But the problem is that, and I'll show you an extreme example. If I go really big, it starts to duplicate the image, and then I can start seeing lines right here. And I don't want that if I want to if I want it to look very realistic. And so I've got a big enough picture that it's that I don't need to make it real big. So I'm going to scale back down. But I want to get at least the top of the table all in the picture and the sides. So I'm going to scale it down just enough that I can do that this is the top of the table and these are the sides and then this is the bottom and I don't really care too much about that because I'm not going to see it I'll just have that duplicate what's on here but I'm gonna hit G to grab it and move it and stick that seam right on the edge so that there's no seam on one of my edges here and then it'll just duplicate so I've got a nice looking table right here if I look at the bottom it's duplicated it's the same thing as this but you'd never notice so if I place it strategically on the seam it's gonna be just fine and it's a big enough image if I come over here and zoom in it's it looks really good if it was a small image it would be really pixelated and then it wouldn't look good when you rendered it so that's basically it I've got I, I unwrapped it in the way that I wanted so that um, when the grain came down it just kind of went straight down the on, onto the sides and that's how I unwrapped it. If you unwrap it a different way or if it looks different, then you probably didn't unwrap it correctly. So that's it. It looks good. When I render it, it's going to look really good. And that's how I map an image onto my object.